most guys are failing with women. And it's not because women aren't interested, but because they can't make themselves the kind of men that attract women like a magnet. They complain that women are the problem. But the truth is, they've become too weak to handle what it really takes to attract a high-quality woman. Instead of leveling up their life, they whine, they moan, and they end up bitter, blaming women for their own failures. This is pathetic and loser behavior. Listen, if you're not getting the women you want, it's not because women aren't worth your time. It's because you're not worth theirs. So you have to improve yourself and become the man that is truly worth to women. Improving yourself isn't just a suggestion. It's a requirement for every man. If you're not willing to put in the work, you'll never get the rewards. Eventually, you will remain broke. In this video, we will discuss four things that will make you absolutely irresistible and attractive to women. Make sure you watch the video till the end, because the last one might just be the most important. Number one, raise your standards. If you want to attract quality women, you need to start by raising your own standards. It's not just about what you're looking for in a woman. It's about what you're willing to accept for yourself. When you raise your standards, you become a better version of yourself. And that naturally draws people in. Raising your standards means demanding more from yourself. This is about setting high goals and not settling for less. If you want to attract someone exceptional, you need to be exceptional yourself. This means focusing on personal growth, improving your skills, and pushing yourself to achieve more. Start by evaluating your life. Are you happy with where you are? Are you proud of the person you're becoming? If the answer is no, it's time to make a change. Invest in your career, work on your fitness, and develop your interests. When you're working towards becoming the best version of yourself, you'll naturally attract women who are also striving for greatness. Raising your standards isn't just about self-improvement. It's also about being clear about what you want in a partner. Don't settle for someone who doesn't meet your criteria or who doesn't align with your values. Be specific about the qualities you want in a woman. For example, honesty, ambition, kindness, whatever matters most to you, know what you bring to the table and don't accept anything less than you deserve. If you're constantly compromising on your values or lowering your expectations, you're going to end up in relationships that aren't fulfilling. Set high standards and stick to them. It's about respecting yourself enough to know what you're worth and expecting the same from others. One of the biggest mistakes people make is settling for mediocrity. They date people who don't excite them, who don't inspire them and who don't challenge them. When you lower your standards, you're telling yourself that you're okay with less. But if you truly believe you deserve the best, you'll only accept the best. Raising your standards doesn't mean being unrealistic or expecting perfection, but it does mean having clear and reasonable criteria for what you want in a relationship. Don't waste your time with people who don't meet these standards or who aren't willing to grow and improve alongside you. Ultimately, raising your standards starts with you. Be the kind of person who lives up to the high standards you set for others. When you commit to personal growth and high standards, you naturally become more attractive to the kind of people you want to be around. Number two, high energy. Listen up. If you want to attract women, you need to bring high energy. This isn't about being fake or putting on a show. It's about owning your presence and being genuinely excited about life. Women are drawn to confidence, and confidence comes from having a powerful, high-energy mindset. You have to be the guy who walks into a room and lights it up. This means being enthusiastic about everything you do. If you're passionate about your hobbies, your job, or your goals, that energy will naturally draw people to you. Women are attracted to men who are alive and engaged with the world around them. Stop being passive. Take control of your interactions. When you approach someone, don't be timid or uncertain. Show that you're confident and that you're genuinely interested in them. Ask questions, listen actively, and engage in the conversation. Your high energy needs to be contagious. Think about it. When you're enthusiastic and energetic, people around you feel that vibe. They want to be a part of your world because it's exciting and dynamic. If you're dull and low energy, no one will be interested. Be the guy who's always moving forward, who's always passionate. That's the kind of energy that attracts attention. Don't fake it, actually be it. 
Develop your passions and interests. When you talk about something you care about, your energy will naturally rise. This is what makes you stand out. Women will notice the difference between someone who's just trying to impress them and someone who's genuinely alive and energetic. So, focus on boosting your energy levels. Engage in activities that make you feel alive. Work out, pursue your hobbies, and stay mentally and physically active. The more energy you put into your own life, the more you'll naturally attract others. Number three, show emotional strength. If you want to attract quality women, showing emotional strength is crucial. Emotional strength isn't about being stoic or detached. It's about being in control of your emotions and handling life's ups and downs with resilience. Women are drawn to men who are emotionally stable, confident, and capable of handling stress without falling apart. You need to be in control of your emotions. This doesn't mean suppressing them or pretending they don't exist. It means understanding your feelings and responding to them in a balanced way. When you can handle your emotions without letting them dictate your actions, you show maturity and stability. Emotional strength also means being able to communicate effectively. This means expressing your feelings honestly and constructively without being overly dramatic or confrontational. Good communication is key to any relationship and showing that you can articulate your emotions in a healthy way makes you more attractive. When you talk about your feelings, be open and honest, but also respectful. Avoid blaming others or making excuses. Take responsibility for your emotions and how you handle them. Women appreciate men who can communicate clearly and who are willing to work through emotional issues in a mature way. One aspect of emotional strength is handling rejection with grace. Not every interaction will lead to a positive outcome, and that's okay. How you deal with rejection says a lot about your emotional strength. Instead of reacting with anger or frustration, handle it calmly and professionally. Learn from the experience and move forward without letting it affect your self-worth. Showing that you can take rejection in stride without letting it bring you down demonstrates resilience and confidence. It's a sign that you're secure in yourself and that you're not easily shaken by setbacks. Emotional strength also involves being supportive and empathetic toward others. Show that you can be a rock for others when they need it. Offer support and understanding to friends and loved ones. When you're able to be emotionally present for others, it shows that you have a strong sense of empathy and that you're capable of building meaningful connections. Number four, smell good. Dress good. If you want to get girls, you need to understand the power of first impressions. The way you smell and the way you dress are huge factors in how people perceive you. Here's the deal. Smelling good and dressing well aren't just about vanity. They're crucial elements in attracting women. Let's start with smell. Your scent is a powerful tool. It can make or break the impression you leave. Women notice and remember how you smell. So, it's essential to invest in a good cologne. But it's not just about the cologne. It's about hygiene. Make sure you're clean, shower regularly, and take care of your grooming. Choose a cologne that matches your personality. Don't just pick the most expensive one or whatever is trending. Find a scent that complements who you are. Apply it sparingly. Don't drown yourself in it. You want a subtle, lingering fragrance that makes people notice you when you're close, not when you're miles away. Remember, too much of a strong scent can be overwhelming. It's better to have a light, appealing fragrance that draws people in rather than something overpowering that makes them want to step back. Now, let's talk about dressing well. Your clothes should fit you properly and be appropriate for the occasion. It's not about following every fashion trend, but about finding a style that suits you. Clothes that fit well and look good on you show that you put effort into your appearance. Invest in a few key pieces that you can mix and match. Quality matters more than quantity. A few well-chosen outfits can make a much better impression than a closet full of cheap clothes. Make sure your clothes are clean and ironed. Wrinkled, dirty clothes are a big turnoff. Your wardrobe doesn't need to be expensive, but it should be well-coordinated. 
classic pieces like well-fitting jeans. A good blazer and quality shoes never go out of style. Pay attention to details. Make sure your shoes are polished and your clothes are free from stains and tears. The way you dress speaks volumes about your confidence and self-respect. When you dress well, you're telling the world that you value yourself. This confidence translates into how others see you. Women are attracted to men who look like they take care of themselves and know how to present themselves well. 